Run with the wind. One moonlit night, while the wind raged and the rain drummed on the stable roof, a foal was born. His mother, the mare, breathed on him softly until he snuggled up on a, on a tangle of long legs. What's that noise? asked the foal. Just the wind, answered the mare, nuzzling his velvety neck. Where is the wind? It's blowing in the hills, replied his mother. When you are big and your legs aren't so wobbly anymore, you will run with the wind over the hills. Will you be there with me? asked the foal. No, said his mother, but you won't think of me then. The foal didn't like his mother saying that. Why won't I think of you? He asked. His mother sighed and shook her long black mane. Because you won't. Now settle down, little one. No more questions. What are questions? Yawned the foal. And then he fell fast asleep. A foal is the baby horse. Spring came, the foal's legs grew longer and stronger, so his head just reached the top of the stable door. What's outside, he asked. It's a field, said the mare. Soon you'll be able to go out there with me and run all the way around and back again. I don't think I want to, said the foal, drawing back. I don't like outside. I like it here. He likes it in this barn. The foal's legs grew even stronger and longer, and now he could see right over the stable door. He saw other horses. There was a great sire horse with giant hooves and a tiny Shetland pony uh, with very long hair. He saw a horse as dark as the night sky and a pony as pale as the moonlight. Where are their mothers? He asked. Some of, the, some of them are here and some of them are at other stables, said the mare. They give people rides. I'll soon do that too, little one, while you stay behind. Stay behind? No, said the foal, turning his back. I don't want to think about it. When the days grew warmer and the mare and her foal went out into the field, they ran all the way around it and back again. Twilight fell and the foal began, became uneasy. Can't we go back into the stable now? He asked. No, said his mother. When the nights are warm, we stay outside. But it's dark. It's dark in the stable too, little one. It's the same dark. It's not such a big dark and it's not such a big dark in there, said the foal. I can't see you out here. I can't see you out here when you move far away from me. I'm all alone. You know I'm here, even if you can't see me, whispered the mare. The foal lifted his head in the darkness. What's making that noise, he asked. Just the wind. Don't you remember hearing it when you were very small? Yes, said the foal. But where is it? You know it's there, but you can't see it. Just like when you're in the dark, Mom, he whispered. One morning, the foal woke late. He had done so much running and growing that day before, he was very tired. But where was Mother? The foal looked inside the stable, but she wasn't there. Then he saw her by the fence. She had a bridle on her head and a saddle on her back. I'm going to work, she called to him. I'm going to give rides again. And who will ride me? Cried the foal with excitement. 
You're too little to be ridden yet, explained his mother. Your back is weak, your mouth is soft as silk, and your legs would snap like twigs. But I'll be all alone, he wailed. Oh, please stay with me. No, said the mare as a little girl climbed onto her back. You'll be just fine. The fool watched as his mother and his rider trotted off out of sight. He was all alone. Come back, Mom, he neighed as his voice echoed in the hills. He heard something answer him, but it wasn't his mother. It was the wind. The wind had come down from the hills to play with him. It blew in his mane and his tail. It blew in the trees and it swirled all the leaves. It blew a butterfly for a foal to chase. It blew a patch in the meadow that he could run right through. It even blew waves in the water of his drinking trough. The foal jumped and ran and bucked and chased and flicked his little black tail. He ran with the wind all morning. And then, just as the foal was too tired to run and jump anymore, his mother came back. She nuzzled his neck and said, You see? Nothing bad happened to you when you're all alone. Oh my, thought the fool. I was having so much fun. I didn't think of her once. I wasn't alone, he said. The wind played with me. So you didn't think of me at all? Well, maybe a little bit, said the fool. That's good, said the mare. I was thinking of you the whole time. The end.